Malaysia, truly Asia. We often hear this sentence, but what it truly means? Malaysia stands as a multinational hub in Southeast Asia. Approximately 22.8% of the entire population is Chinese, but it wasn't always the case. The connection dates back as far as the 13th century. In the 16th century, the Ming Dynasty established trade relations and settled in Malacca, a strategical naval trade route. This trade deal led to an early migration and laid the foundation for later waves of Chinese immigrants to Malaysia. Although many Chinese traders avoided Portuguese Malacca, after its 1511 conquest, the flow of immigrants from China continued. The Chinese emperor was reluctant to have the deposed Malaccan ruler reclaiming his position. However, the dynasty's foreign policy was changing to maintain friendly relations with the Portuguese. After the 1641 Dutch takeover of Malacca, many local Malaccan Chinese were hired to construct Dutch buildings. The Dutch found the Chinese industrious and encouraged their participation in the colony's economic life. The Dutch also established a settlement in Perak in 1650 through an earlier treaty with the Sultanate of Acre and suggested that Aladdin, the 17th Sultan of Perak, allow the Chinese to develop tin mines. This facilitated Aladdin's plan to request more Chinese workers from Malacca. A 1786 British settlement in Penang and another one in Singapore in 1819 triggered a mass immigration from China to the Malay Peninsula. Well, roughly this is how the Chinese ended up in Malaysia, but this video is not about history, it's about the Chinese heritage, culture and tradition in Malaysia. So let's discover together the most popular Chinese tourist destinations. Hi everyone, we're here in Thun Ho Temple. This is a six-tiered temple, a Chinese goddess Mazu in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So this was established on 1981 and completed on 1987. And by the way, this temple cost approximately 7 million ringgit. Wow! This temple is affiliated for three religions. Those are Buddhism, Confucianism and Taoism. So since we already we donated there, we can get four joysticks. Okay, so look, I'll show you. 
after this so go here so this is what they called fortune teller fortune so teller. yes there okay. are 60 sticks in total yeah. 60 sticks and the correct way of doing this is that you need to hold all of them hold all and then press drop okay, drop I understand press then drop so if you can see there's only one hanging out okay hanging yeah like this oh. yeah it means to say this is for me this is for me that is for you and then you need to pull it then check the number check the number 25 25 okay Okay. okay, so according to number 25, God helps those who help themselves. Your future is in your own hands. Work hard for it and don't resign entirely to divine help. Cheer up, good tidings will be forthcoming for you. Mm. It's so sweet. Yeah, this is a look. Look. Behind the restaurant, we can explore what life was like for the Chinese in Kuala Lumpur, let's say 50 years ago. But let the pictures do the talking. Besides the Enter the Dragon poster, we can admire the oldest lamppost in Kuala Lumpur. Yep, this is it. Luckily, one of the most famous tourist attractions, the Pataling Street, is just a few steps away. I never tried durian before, so I was really afraid. People say it stinks like rotten meat or something like that, so I really prepared for the worst. First time trying durian. How was it? Well, I'm gonna reveal in another video.